Hey there, and welcome to this week's Sunday Musings, where every week I take a few minutes and talk about some of the things that have been on my mind. I also have a weekly blog on Medium. You can check out the link right here. That blog always complements the content of this video and vice versa. In fact, I often have additional resources there and content and just a little bit of different information. So I welcome you to check that out as well. I would love to hear from you. So please leave me your feedback here or over at Medium or at the end of the video is a link to my calendar and I invite you to set time so we can also have a chat. I'd love to get to know you. This week I want to talk about the comfort zone. You've heard it from me before. I believe strongly that the comfort zone is a place where you learn little. It's a great place. It's like a pillow fort and you're safe and you can be cozy. And there's a time where we all need in our lives to be in a comfort zone because we all need that feeling of safety to recharge, to regenerate, to heal, to get better. Maybe just because we're tired and we need to rest. But if we are not in that place of healing and nurturing and needing rest, and we want to grow, we cannot stay in the pillow fort of our comfort zone. We have to go outside. You cannot truly learn or grow if you're in comfort. You need to put yourself in an environment that's a little uncomfortable, that will challenge you so that you can truly learn and practice what you learn and adapt and I'm going to say it, fail because failure is not really a bad word. And somewhere in our world, failure became this really bad four letter word, fail. But don't think of it that way. Think of it as a way to learn. If you do not succeed at something, you have even a better gift. And that is the opportunity to learn, to try something new, to experiment. Sometimes you have to try several things in several different ways at different angles. But you know what? If you do it and you finally get it to work, you've learned. And you will not forget that hard won victory. So when you're ready to try something new, open your eyes, crawl out of your pillow fort, and go out of your comfort zone. Pick something that you've always wanted to do but never tried and try it. And maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. And maybe you're a natural and it's perfect the first time. Or maybe you stumble and fall flat on your face and you pick yourself up and you try again. Or you go back to your pillow fort, wait till the scraped and bruised knees and all of that heal and then go out and try it again. And if you're still struggling, reach out to that personal board of directors and ask for some guidance, maybe a resource, or you can always just check out YouTube because there's a video for almost anything and you can always follow me. I love working outside of my pillow fort. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy, but I love to learn and so I think having the opportunity to stumble and try and stumble and maybe not do it right. Not only is that good for me for learning, but it's also a really good reality check for me. As I mentioned before, I also suffer from imposter syndrome. And so putting myself in situations where I cannot be perfect the first time, and I get to learn and stumble and make mistakes and I can't be perfect is really a good way for me because when I do achieve that success, that's an opportunity for me to celebrate success. And going through the discomfort of learning is a good way for me to enjoy the fact that I can learn 
and tell my little imposter self that it's okay. I'm here to learn. So these are my thoughts on the comfort zone and learning and imposter syndrome. And I'd love to hear yours. How do you best learn? If you can learn in the pillow fort, please tell me how, because some days it's so warm and cozy in there and I don't want to get out and do something, but I always feel the reward when I do. See you next week.